if you see about the roles about the skills to be a effective manager or to be a leader see whenever i'm saying effective manager you must identify this effective managers will with leaders because in our last chapter i told you the difference between manager and leaders i told you which type of manager is called leader i also discuss why all managers we cannot say a leader if you have confusion still you have not gone through it i suggest you to go through the second chapter first then come up to the third chapter so anyhow uh, the objective of our chapter number 3 is the first objective is to find out the managerial role or leadership role which type of role is expected from a manager many scientists again have done the research come up with the different outcome somebody is saying this seven leadership quality or roles must be there to be a successful leader some are coming with the 10 some are coming with the 15 17 20 like that many scholars come up with the many outcome basically the famous one is henry mintzberg managerial role he is saying that every leader or effective manager must have these 10 roles to be successful in his field irrespective of any industry irrespective of any type of organization whether it is a public sector with a private sector a small organization large organization any type of industry manufacturing services or any new technology based industry all type of industry a manager or effective manager should have this 10 role to get this their work done and he henry has divided this 10 role into three different group he is saying that these all 10 roles or these all 10 skills can be divided into a three part first one is known as interpersonal which means provide information so all the roles related with the provide information comes under the interpersonal second group is informational it means process information so all the roles related with the processing of information or work of the information or getting the things done through the information comes under the informational and finally decisional group decisional group means how to use this information which has been taken which has been processed now it is time to use so the role related with the decisional case comes under the use of that word so all the 10 roles which is expected which is assumed to be there in every effective manager are categorized into three different group interpersonal informational and decisional now we are going to see what are the three roles are there in the interpersonal what are the three roles are there in informational and what are the four roles are there in decisional let us see from the first one the first group is interpersonal as i told you interpersonal means providing information and ideas the role in this category involve providing information and ideas and three roles are there like a manager should have act as a figure head a manager should act as a leader and as a liaison so it is expected that a manager should act as a figure head it means he is a social person he is a socially accepted people he work he can be recognized he can be accepted by the people in the society or into the area where they are working he is a respectable person he doesn't have any legal obligation he doesn't have any criminal record he is respected by the people around him so figurehead people will treated him as a 
father figure people will treat it as a brother so like that one a person who is mostly taking care of society ceremonial ceremonial means he will be involved into a mar marriage ceremony or some death occasion he will go and give the condemn uh, uh, about that one condolation like that one so figurehead his role is as a figurehead his role is as a leader who provide a leadership to his team who provide a motivation to his team who provide the inspiration guide support to the people so providing information comes through the figurehead who get the information or who will provide the information to the people people will believe him in leader who can act into a team who can inspire the team who can help the team who can lead the team who can support the team and lies an officer basically it's a the things which a manager must communicate with internal and external contacts lies an is basically a legal term a person must know how to provide the information or how to get and provide the information for inside entity maybe to the government maybe to the supplier maybe to the required body or maybe for the contact maybe for the agreement so as a license so these are the three main role which is expected to a leader into a category of interpersonal group now the second one is informational or also known as processing information in this one again three roles are there means manager should act as a monitor manager should act as a disseminator and manager should act as a spokesperson monitor here means he has the ability and skills to scan the report scan the information scan the right information scan the correct information he has the ability to read the report he has to ability to analyze the report he has the ability to see the paper he has the ability to read between the lines so monitor seek and receive information scan the reports so that is as a monitor disseminator communicate potentially useful information to your colleagues and your team disseminator also you can say a leadership who will forward the right information to other who have the ability to segregate the most important information than the least inform least important information he has the ability to find out which one is the current required information then which one is the later required information or which one is the least required information disseminator who can disseminate who can segregate relevant and correct information from the irrelevant or non important information and a leader should have the role of a spokesperson a spokesperson who will transmit the information about the organization goal to outside of the people means response to outside about the process how the things are going to the customer to the government as a spokesperson how the process is going on what is the progress report how what is the health of the organization so as a spokesperson processing information so these three things comes under the information processing or information category now we are talking about the third one which is known as as a decisional making who it means who is going to take the decision who is going to use the information the first category is interpersonal means provide the information second category is informational means process the information and third category which contain four roles is the decisional making which mean use this information a leader or a effective manager must be 
skills as an entrepreneur who has the skills of problem solving who has the skills of new idea generators who have the skills of implementing creativity who has the skills of initiate new project who has the skills of looking the opportunity and identifying the new things so that is the entrepreneur second category is as a disturbance handler disturbance handler means during the process during the use of information there may be a conflict there may be complain there may be the chances of some disturbance some noises so he will act as a mediator he will act as a dispute handler he will act as a resolve conflict he took act action into a crisis like into case of complaint disturbance handler and third role into a decision making is resource allocator resource allocator means he should decide who will get what type of resource at in what quantity at what time set the priority set the budget allocate the fund assign the staff and other things so whatever the resource is related with that moment of time he must be there to allocate to find out and finally as a negotiator negotiator here means he has the ability to create a win win situation for all for employees and for a organization a customer for a customer and for the organization so negotiator negotiator between the teams negotiator between the departments negotiator between the customer and organization negotiator between the government and organization so come up with the right solution where with the union also with the supplier with the agency to negotiate with that role so these are the 10 different roles which you can summarize like this three main group interpersonal having three roles figurehead leader and liaison informational group have the monitor role disseminator and a spokesperson and as a decisional we can say as the entrepreneur disturbance handler resource allocator and negotiator let me repeat the things into a summary of this first objective like every company or every organization want his leader be a effective or his manager as a effective manager or a leader who has certain roles who has certain skills how to identify these skills how to develop these skills how to be seeing that which individual have these skills so that we can select him as a future manager so these are the 10 things if a person has these 10 roles or if he is able to do these thing 10 things so he must be selected as a future managers or as a future leaders even for for the hr managers or hr head when they are going to select they are going to interview a manager for the organization these 10 roles must be in their mind so when they were they are going to select a key position employee they will see that whether he has a good relationship with the society he has the ability of the leadership he has the ability of the resource handler he has the characteristics of the disturbance handler so like this way they are going to select the people now i hope managerial role is clear to everyone so this is the first objective of today let us move to the second one